All right. Good morning. Got a mess in the back of my truck. The ramps, they kind of fell off the trailer the other day out in the field, mainly because I didn't put them up. So, got to make some room for those two five gallon jugs right there, diesel fuel. Because, I know I said I was done cutting hay, but we picked up another hay field. So, I've got to get that finished, hopefully today. I have a birthday party to go to out of town tomorrow. And hopefully, we'll get it bailed up Sunday. Uh, that's my weekend plans though. I gotta get the hay finished again. Thought I was already done. Anyway, let's get busy. I will say it was not in my plans to really cut much more. But, it's a 40 acre place. And I didn't want to, didn't really want it for this year, but I'd love to have it for the rest of the year, or for next year, I guess. So, I kind of had to go ahead and get it because the person that was cutting it quit. And it had been posted on Facebook that they needed someone to come cut their 40 acres. Somebody I knew, so I called her up, got it. It'll be a better deal next year. I think turn loose to some of the smaller places we have. All right, time to get busy. So, I know I can't really, well maybe I can. Real quick. See where we tried to weld on it. It's broke again right there. Uh, that's for me running in tree limbs. But, you see that rod we found? And it runs up, sticks out right here, and we welded this into this cover frame to it so it doesn't bounce around anymore. So, that'll keep it from breaking. It worked great the other day. So, I'm fixing to get busy. Going to get this knocked out today, I hope. Uh, at least in the next four hours, because I got a birthday dinner to take my wife to tonight. And then a grandson's birthday party tomorrow, because the two of them share the same birthday. And we will get the door unlocked and get busy. This, let me show it to you real quick. I still got to go get my tea. Find a good place to step over here. Now you can't see it real good. I mean, you can see there's trees in the way we got to go around. This used to be a golf course. It used to be a par three golf course. All par three holes. Brought back memories out here cutting this. I used to come out here and play all the time. Uh, it was great, it was cheap, you could do it quick, I could walk it, nine holes. Uh, this right here <clears throat> is a driving range. We used to come out here while we were working. Hit golf balls. I gotta adjust my mower to cut more grass. It's awfully high. See if I can do that before we get started and we bell up more hay. Oh, let me get my tea. Let me roll up my window. So number one, nobody steals anything. Number two, if the wind starts blowing like it did the other day, those pine needles are going to fall. All right, it's time to get busy. Well, it's been an exciting week last week and the week before that. We picked up a 40-acre uh, golf course. I guess it's probably a little bit more. They said 40 acres to cut for hay. Used to be a golf course. That's fun. You got to go around all the trees. Anyhow, I uh, trying to be nice and 
get over and cut near the road or their driveway to their house. And I was doing a good job. I really was, I promise. But then the gunshot, gunshot. It was rock. See something missing there? Yep. I have no door anymore on the right side. So I had to stop. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Huh, that's probably what's leaking. Did it break? Somehow? Well, that would explain the loss of Huh. All right. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that one. Let me go get a rag. Anyhow, now that I found another problem. So I was so proud of myself when I got this fixed. And I was not proud of myself when I hit the uh, limb again, and it finally fell apart. So I guess maybe this is going to be a wintertime project, just so I can practice my welding. All right, let me go see what I'm going to do about this. Always something. I just need to finish the hay. That's all I need to do. Guess I need to back it off the trailer and see how bad it's leaking. Well, that might have been the easiest fix. I hope that I've had so far. I thought maybe I broke it, because you got to be very careful. On this bar I've never seen one designed like this uh, but anyhow it was loose it was very loose which may explain why I lost all my hydraulic fluid I don't see it dripping anymore all right it's about time something went my way oh. All right, anyhow, we picked up that 40. My fingers are in the way. We picked up that 40 and they are out uh, raking it and bailing it right now. And I'm fixing to take this, whatever kind of mower it is, my, my mind is just blank. Uh, yeah, Massey Ferguson. That's bad. I had to come over here and look and see. That I may end up buying probably the first of the year. I may buy it right before the end of the year. We'll just see. Uh, he's selling the mower, a uh, New Holland Baylor that I really like. It's the one I've been using when I had to borrow one. And another rake, and we could definitely use another rake. Uh, the rake's just like the one I have. So, if I can come up with the money, that will help us tremendously next year. And I must admit, that mower's shorter than what mine is. Not by much, I think that's a seven and that's a nine. And uh, I like it. I like that mower. Let's 
see if I can get him down on the price a little bit. All right, I'm going to go cut hay. Hope for better days, better times, better something. And uh, then I guess I'll edit and upload this evening. Y'all uh, enjoy your day. It's going to be 90 degrees here in South Arkansas today, the end of October. Sucks. Really sucks. But I guess for hay cutting, it's a good thing. I should not complain. Man, it's always something. Always something. The tractor's been shutting down on me. I can't get anything done right now. But hopefully, this fixes it. My uh, air filter the other day, it did it the other day. It was nasty. I mean, horrible. It's never been changed. Well, it's been changed once in about four years. So we're going to see. I'm hoping this fixes the issue. If not, I guess I'll have to figure out something else. All right, I got that in. Now I'll put this part on. And we'll see what happens. Oh, this dang sagebrush. I had to clean all this off. Dang. My needle didn't show it was getting too hot. But you never know. I guess it could have. And my needle's not right. My, my gauge isn't right. But I think it just wasn't breathing very good. Yeah, we're going to climb up in here and see what happens. Yeah, it's a mess. I ain't cleaned it out yet since the door shattered. Sounds better. Let's go see what happens. About all I know to do. I am going to finish this little acres up right there. And then I'll come back tomorrow and finish that. I'm going to go spend some time with my granddaughter. I don't think it'll hurt a thing. I can knock that out pretty quick tomorrow. As long as everything runs right. I think I'm gonna remote this. I didn't have my mower set right, obviously. That's pretty rough. Or it's just the lay of the ground, one of the two. Well, we made it further than we were making it earlier. Let's go cut hay. <laughs> 